Welcome to Next to Madison, a podcast to help you live your best life. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Next to Madison. Uh, On today's episode, I'm sitting down with an influencer uh, and uh, a a gentleman that has also created his own cosmetics line called Dex Cosmetics. And we are going to talk about uh, what makes his cosmetic line different, how to uh, launch a brand, because so many of us have a great idea and sometimes we just don't know where to start. So I always love pulling the entrepreneurial spirit out of people and having them give tips and tricks because this podcast is about living your best life. And if you're somebody who wants to start your own brand, this episode is definitely for you. Um, Very exciting stuff. Uh, Also, we're going to discuss being an influencer. I wish I was an influencer. I'm not. Um, But some people might say I am because they've been influenced by this podcast uh, by some of our guests to read some of the books that have been recommended, follow some of the steps they've recommended. So I love it. Uh, I love hearing those stories from you guys. So please leave us a review on Apple or Spotify. Uh, We want to know what you guys are thinking. We want to know what other topics you'd like us to, to cover because we can get it all done. And yes, it is New Year's. It is almost 2022. Uh, tomorrow we celebrate. So everybody, uh, you know, make sure you've got great resolutions and uh, previous episodes talked about sticking to those resolutions and let's go make it the best year ever because we are all designed to live an amazing, abundant life. And if you are not, there's either a mindset shift that needs to happen, a lifestyle shift, but you deserve it. So go and do it and make it great. And let's make 22 an amazing year. I know on this podcast next to Madison, we've got so many great things in store and I am so excited about this year. I have been working so hard on some projects that I cannot talk about yet. And I can't wait to come on the podcast and announce when those will happen. I'm excited. I'm very excited. And I hope you all are extremely excited about something um, for you that's coming up in this new year. And I would love to hear about it. We have an email contact at nexttomadison.com where you can also reach out. I directly actually check that email uh, along with my producer. So uh, please feel free to, to reach out. Also, if you think you'd be a good guest, uh, let me know. And you know, we're always open to great stories and things that will help you live your best life. Dex Phillip, a uh, recording artist, singer, songwriter, influencer, cosmetic uh, or skincare entrepreneur. And he's going to tell us about uh, being an influencer, being a cosmetics entrepreneur, being a singer, songwriter. I mean, this guy's a jack of all trades. What do you not do? <laughs> Is there something you don't do, Dex? What do I not do? Wow. Um, I don't know. Um, Probably sleep. You don't, yeah, right? Well, you're busy. I don't sleep. Yeah, constantly. <laughs> right, you, got, you got to sleep. They do say it's eight hours, but sometimes when we're busy, I know. We so many things and we love life so much, people. I know. Like, I know. I, I, I get to like, be dead if you don't sleep. <laughs> right. <laughs> I like to sleep on planes. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So I, I want to go into your uh, cosmetics line. Uh, one of the things I noticed when I when I went to uh, online and was looking it up is you your products don't use an ingredient uh, mica, and the reason that stood out to me is that my mother is allergic to mica, and for Mother's Day I had gotten her this. I think it was Dennis or Peter Thomas Roth, right? He has this Mm -hmm. vitamin C serum that's like the strongest serum uh, over the counter vitamin C. And I use it. So I give it to my mom for Mother's Day. She's highly allergic to mica. Her face blows up like she got some sort of crazy laser treatment to where it's very raw and you know, and she had to like put the the aquifer on it. And then she has to cancel her trip to Austin, Texas the following weekend. And I'm like, oh my gosh, worst Mother's Day gift ever. <laughs> right, right, right. Oh my God. And I didn't realize that mica, so many people were allergic to mica and mica's used in a lot of, a lot of skincare. So a lot of skincare, reasoning, yeah. But not, but behind not using mica. The reasoning for me not including that in our formula, um, 
because of uh, the photographic um, quality that the, I mean, like my philosophy was for it to be healthy and also be camera ready. So um, that's my reasoning for not including that in a formulation. So what does Micah do that, that doesn't give you as good of a, a photograph? Um, the, there's like the, the reflective, um, let's just call it the reflective properties. So it's like, like when you see like a stone and it, and it has like this, like shimmery stuff, yeah. um, similar thing. So it's like, um, I don't want to name the brand, but they were huge for Max cosmetics uses a lot of mica. <laughs> yeah. And well, the, um, Bia Minerals, when they first launched their mineral line, which they were the, I call it pioneer of mineral makeup. Yeah. Um, that was one of the competitive, you know, components that I chose to use and not include it in my line. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, so let's talk about your line. What makes your line uh, different? The difference there is um, not only that it's um, healthy and natural, but it photographs well um, uh, and it's highly pigmented. So for, and, and, and also another key point is that our skin um, color ranges from like Sweden to Sudan, basically, like from very fair to really dark. Oh, okay. So that's great. So at least you've got a lot of shades. So you're not trying. Yeah. To, yeah. There's something for everybody, which is nice. Yes. Um, yeah. And then, so it's better for your skin be because it's mineral based. Is that how? That um. Works? Well, and also there's a um a peptide that that's included in the formulation. So it photographs well. It's healthy for your skin, and as well, it's highly pigmented. So it's kind of like the um, I like to say it's like not that you know because you would often think like very um boring like I don't know like healthy is healthy should be fun it should be utilized it should be colorful it should do all the things that we want it to do mm -hmm. does, does it make you look younger well, <laughs> <laughs> like there's the like cosmetic so surgeon for that. <laughs> right. <laughs> totally. Um, I like to go, for, I mean, in terms of the application process, like with clients, like going for that more of like a natural skin, skin finish look. Um, so it really is all in the application. In the application. Okay, so what is the proper way to apply a foundation? Foundation should be applied only at the center of your face and then pulled out. Okay, because this is what I did this morning. So I use like a CC cream from It Cosmo, uh -huh. right? Sure. And, and I love it because it's easy. It's got SPF 50. So uh -huh. I put like half a pump in my hand and then I go like this. And I already have a primer on, right? And then I just put it on my face like lotion because I used to bounce it in with a beauty blender and that just took longer. And I felt like it just looked better when I just put it on like a lotion. So I'll kind of just put it on everywhere. So I guess right. I do this and then kind of push out. And then, and then blend it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the, fo the focal point, you know, when a, I'm talking to you, like I'm looking here. So the coverage you you want here and then to blend out here not all over the face but you're using a cc cream so that's different i uh, i would this is more towards like in fact okay wait we just lost your uh your sound dax again sorry there you are okay um, so the fo the focal point should be 
the center and then center and then out yeah and out okay gotcha and and men if you're listening to this don't don't, don't let us lose you you guys are like what the hell <laughs> maybe we get some some tv newscasters on here right they'll be like hey mm-hmm. They're like, we don't do our own makeup. Oh. Right. Hey, can you tell your wife about this. We're not just talking makeup, so don't, don't, don't give up on me yet. We, we got right. good stuff, good stuff going on. Um, so when you say clients, are you a makeup artist as well? Um, I've done makeup in the past, and um, I would consider I'm an artist. Yes. That's it. I'm okay. an artist. I'm so an artist. Before we jump off into the other stuff that you do because you do so many things i want to quickly uh talk about first of all what was the inspiration behind creating your own cosmetics line like why did you do that when there were so many already out there what was the sure the the inspiration came honestly um i was actually doing makeup um for a new york fashion week uh show and uh there was in fact a a model who was from sudan and uh, very dark and um and you know and she's coming from another show and so everyone's like all like surrounding her and so forth and um <laughs> she sat in chair and like the, the the makeup artist was like trembling basically like oh my god like what do i do whatever and i was like oh my god that's like wow because like they didn't really have the I don't, I'm saying yeah more or less like the knowledge but maybe they were like intimidated by that or, or what have you and literally it just hit me in my mind I was like oh my god like it'd be so cool to have a makeup line of my own that has a shade range extension that goes that dark yeah and from there that's how the idea came about and it swirled into this whole thing. <laughs> well, I love it. Congratulations uh, that you did that. You have to send me some so I can try it. Uh, yes. Also, so what was the process like? Kind of walk us through a little bit about of, of that. Cause this is a very living your best life and entrepreneurial podcast as well. So sure. Yeah. Um, the scenario came where it, a friend of mine who's also a makeup artist um <clears throat> worked worked in the studio kind of like a smash box mm-hmm. and um and i was visiting once and it, he mentioned to me that the owners were interested in selling but they were developing a line at the same time and so i was like oh my god like this is such a great opportunity so I spoke to my partner we were like, cool. And the great thing that came with it was the, the manufacturing and uh, the, the, the chemist that was already on board. So with the purchase of the business, all of that came with that. And I jumped in and um, I learned so much, so much. I was like, uh, I'm, and, I, and I'm like a sponge in general. So it was like, I was, hungry for it and um it was like a two-year process until like i actually launched the actual products but but in the meantime there's a photography studio there's a hair salon and there was also like makeup workshops that we conducted and um a lot of testing a lot of testing 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 and uh, driving back and forth from the city to new brunswick new jersey where (laughs) where the manufacturer was. How did so, you get the manufacturer on board? Because they, because the company basically that I acquired, they were using that company already. Okay, so it's kind of a, so if, if you wanted to start a new line and, and you needed to get a hold of a manufacturer, what what is that process like? Is it pretty... Do they um you or yeah they- it's pretty um and first I would say if you want to start a makeup line do not start with a hundred and forty five SKUs like I did no 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 <laughs> one product you nail down like Glossier Glossier whatever she had the blog they kind of did that where they kind of launched with like the boy brow and then 
Yes. I would say you launch with a category and then you branch out. Yeah. That's smart. I was like the full kit caboodle everything. I was just like, and when I look back at that, I'm like, oh my God, what was I thinking? (laughs) Well, you did (laughs) it. When did yeah. it? Pardon me, I'm sneezing. So, That's okay. Bless you. Know, I'm, I'm coughing. Everyone says, <laughs> You must have army girl. <laughs> shut, the, shut the front door. It ain't army girl. It's all cold. It's the middle of December. And I'm right. like a rock star. You know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Nothing's going to stop me. I'm telling you. Okay. I'm all the way through. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'm taking elderberry, elderberry stuff, everything. Oh, I love that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Everything, is, everything is good. Okay. Now that everybody, uh, and if you're on audio and you didn't hear me sneeze, I'm not taking this out, by the way. It's organic. Um, <laughs> go to our that. YouTube channel and watch what I look like when I sneeze. I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> just not attractive, but that's okay. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. So, so that's that. I mean, that's yeah, because it is a lot of. I always had a thing about I wanted to start some sort of like skincare thing um, because I I love skincare so much, and you know, I just feel like there's certain things that just drive me nuts about kind of what's out there so to say yeah um yeah but yeah it's like this and everything else it's like where do you where do you find the time but there is one type of product that uh i feel everyone needs but i you know uh and i, I kind of think of how i would do it um but i don't know maybe we'll talk off record yeah yeah, yeah. but it's more <laughs> skincare type thing and it would only have a few skews because it's oh good it's a universal good. product and it's for men so you know, you can rub oh, it cool. bottles if you need to. Uh, okay. not really. It depends on where it depends <laughs> on where you are if you need to put it on your balls. But uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's not that exciting, but it's protective. You know what I mean? So, nice. um, okay. So, so let's talk about uh, going into being an influencer, though, because you've got that Ooh. whole like TV yeah. thing, like, Project Runway vibe going on. Oh, okay. <laughs> How did that whole thing happen? <clears throat> um, I've always been interested in that, and in general, I, I like when I when I think of the question, um, influencer is uh, resourceful. Like, and I've always been that kind of person. Like resourceful but also wanting to be resourceful to to people um so it's like if you have an inside tip or like um you've been to some place you want to share your experience um you feel that everyone else needs to know about this like it's like the thing you know it's like um like there's that gives me pleasure and joy to to share that with yeah. people yeah. yeah but it's crazy the whole influencer thing i mean how everyday people have we basically been able to create a, a living off of it and and do what they love yes trapped behind a, a desk nine to five with a boss they don't know if he's gonna fire them and and just a miserable mm-hmm. life you know um and they've been able to do this but it's amazing how demanding these people get i also do video uh production stuff and sometimes when you you bring these people on they're you know they're very demanding and what they want and it's like get off your high horse what oh the influencers oh some of them oh yeah yeah Yeah, i haven't heard the stories but uh, (laughs) you like my spy right like uh. yeah Yeah, it's ridiculous yeah yeah it is ridiculous and they're um yeah this is like this um like entitlement kind of thing it's um that's that's not influencing t- to me at least but um yeah i'll leave it there yeah. <laughs> you like before i have to before i have to call madison and say can you edit this and i say tfb uh no. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I'm really easygoing, like, because I'm passionate about it. And I just love finding out something new that I think that not everybody knows about. And yeah. <laughs> I want to share it, you know, it's like, um, I love providing value to people, um, mm-hmm. you know, and, and vice versa, because when I get a piece of information, I'm just like, Ooh, this is hot. You know, and it's like, like I said, I'm like a sponge. So it's like, I, I'm always hungry. <laughs> exactly. I know I'm stuff. not in the studio, so I don't have a cough button. So you guys, sorry. Uh, <laughs> 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 you're like, eh, hold on silent. You know. Right, right, right. But no, and that's true. And if you guys are listening and like, maybe you're somebody you know wants to be an influencer or you want to be an influencer. I mean, it's very simple. You just, you start with loving a product in and sharing it you know because i know i'm searching a lot where you know if i feel like oh i just my skin just needs a little pump or pick me up or something and i'll you know go into the hashtags and i'll put in like you know laser anti-aging laser treatments or treatments or but i'm aggressive i i literally i like skincare but at the same right. time, I'm like, this ain't going to do shit. You know what I mean? Like, I'm going to go <laughs> thousands of dollars and I'm going to blast my face with a sandblaster and it's going to be great. And I'm going to look like a, like a, like a burn back <laughs> in a couple days. And it's, oh, oh my God. You get results. I'm just telling you, skincare is good to maintain, but you right. have to, you have to do the, the end. You have opposite. to get in. Yeah. But I'll always do mm-hmm. that. And, and, my friends are always saying like, oh, you have great skin and, it's, and you know, you should share your skincare tips. But I just, and you know, one time I tried to do a video and I was like, oh, maybe I'll make my TikTok, my skincare channel. I probably should have done that. But after you don't get that many views, you kind of grow like me, but it has to grow. Um, it has I to just grow. Look so stupid with a camera and my, my fucking happy ass sitting in front of it going, and then you tone and then you, <laughs> and I go, a finance major what am i doing right you know? <laughs> right <laughs> but jokes on me because if i stuck with it maybe i'd be so i well maybe i'd be i don't know yeah cosmetic companies tons of money who knows but it's funny because it's evolved so much like the in terms of like the style of the content um yeah. that viewers are wanting and it's really like the authenticity is even more and people people are we are trained to know what is not authentic and what is authentic i guess i mean yeah you know what i'm saying like because the the type of content is um you just want to see someone in their natural environment and just sharing like whatever it is. Like, <laughs> yeah. And, you know. Cause there's a couple of people that I'll follow. Like sometimes they'll have, or the YouTube channels, you know, and you'll kind of see some of these older women that have these that are skincare influencers, let's say. Right. And you see their bathrooms and their, their bathrooms are beautiful and they talk about their life and you're like, ah, oh, take me around the rest of your house. Like, it's kind of like, you want to see yeah. that, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like yeah. Whole kind of thing. Right. Like, you know, you kind of gravitate towards them, and then you you want to see more. But w- the dark side of of influencing, and Kim Kardashian has said it, is it, people don't realize what a job it is. I can wake up, and if I don't, if I'm just working at home, and I'm not really on any Zoom calls, I don't have to shower if I do I don't have to put makeup on like I don't have to wash my hair like it's a lot of work to get ready as a woman um and it's a lot of pressure and and I also you know it did stand-up comedy for a while and I still do it and I'm more on the television production side but uh now it you know we had a comic uh who was dating an influencer and just that he was talking about just how stressful it actually is and it's not fun because you know he's like i love my girlfriend to death but it takes her four fucking hours to get out of the house and i was like well maybe she needs surgery four hours seems a little aggressive 
Uh, <laughs> Very impressive. Fisher is the new fair. Like what? Four hours? Two hours now. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it really should yeah. be. Yeah. One. I'm going to do an episode on how to streamline and, and make your skin at uh, your getting ready morning routine because I've been able to take off. And I have, I have a very girthy ponytail, you know. Oh, okay. It's so very, full. It's very thick, like most women like it. Or men. Don't judge. Wow. wow. It takes a while to, to Yes, rip. honey. But yeah, it's a lot of work. But obviously being a guy, it's a little bit different for you. Yeah, it's a little bit different. I mean, for me personally, it's the, like, filming stuff. It's, it's the editing Oh, you yeah. edit them? I thought you yeah. Were, I thought you were like this podcast. We don't really edit. I edit, yeah. I edit. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Most people do. They really do. Uh, yeah, I mean because um, I, I should I'm saying I don't think it's creative, but like yeah. I'm a one man show, so I, I mean I need transition. So it's like yeah. And it really d- d- depends. Some things are straight shot, and it's like a breeze to just edit. But for the most part, um, yeah, yeah. Okay. For so wait, if, where can we see your content? Like, what's your Instagram and all that? Um, my Instagram is Dex Experience. D E X. And yeah, D E X, and then Experience, and that's and that's my handle across all social media platforms, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. Well, check him out. I can just see you're very animated when you talk. So I can't wait to see your videos. Oh, I just put one up. I just put one up this morning. It was hilarious. And so, and sometimes (laughs) things come out from, from something that I didn't even plan. So the, for me, the great ones are, it's when it's, I'm in the moment, like it's in the moment. It's not, it's not even scripted. Like yeah. I just told a story about, you know, some gal wanting my lashes and I don't know where that came from. Like, you know, I was taking the makeup off and I just started telling you a story. Where were you taking your makeup off? Were you in like a public restroom? No, no, oh. here at here at home I was doing uh, a tutorial for um, for another brand. Yeah. And then who wanted your lashes? Somebody online? It's just a story that I created in my head. Okay, so everybody go watch it because we don't need to hear about it. <laughs> just, just go watch it at the Dex Experience. But before, obviously, you know, before we run out of time, I need to make sure we get to this. You're a singer songwriter and you have yeah. hits out there. Okay. Like Spotify. So that's my oh. ultimate ultimate passion is music. Okay, so do you have songs that are that are out there that we can download? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I'm on Spotify as well as Apple Music, and my artist name is Dex Experience, okay. and uh, the latest single is called Casanova. Can you sing Casanova? Um, it's you and me up in the morning night. Grooving and moving till our souls ignite. Can you feel the rhythm? Ooh, I'm right on top. Body all shaking, I'll never stop. Yeah. You give me life, and that's no doubt. Come on, let's do it. I'm gonna show you how. Keep moving to the music, scream and shout. That's right. This be the moment tonight. Let's turn it out. I'm Casanova. I'm Casanova. So Casanova is that's good. The, Excellent. Is, is is like your ultimate, ultimate. Like your, it's like the queen or the king of you, like who you are, like, and uh, not not anyone could uh, say like put a a label on you yeah right you, all, yeah you, we're unique beings and we were all created um, yeah to be amazing and abundant and i talk about that a lot and you're yes. the only one holding you back so stop so yes yeah. so that's casanova that you nailed it that's yes. casanova <laughs> hey guys as you're because new year's is tomorrow 
um, as you're writing your goals, your resolutions, make sure maybe you put on the the song. What's it called again on Spotify? Casanova. It, hey, it's called Casanova. The Casanova. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Let it inspire you and make this your year. I don't want to hear anyone victimize this year. Just you're not a no, victim. no victim. Get out of your own way and be be a yes. If you like that influencer on Instagram and you want to be them, guess what? Good news for you. You can. I agree. Cat I agree. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. It's like the crown is right there. All you gotta do. Put it on. Put it on. Look at that. <laughs> That's great. That is. Right? I love right? it. Right? Yeah. I mean, come on. Yeah. No. That's what I say. It's like, don't let anything stop you. Just do it. Do it. And I think one of the things that obviously holds people back, number one is fear, right? But fear, fear. all fear is, is the unknown. And no matter what, we don't know what's next. We don't know what tomorrow holds. We can think we right. know what tomorrow holds. We have a calendar, whatnot. We have maybe things that we're going to, but we really don't know how it's going to unfold. So you could live your whole life in fear if you choose to because it's the unknown. Or you could get out there and just embrace it. Yeah. And I think, yeah, being vulnerable is um, – is keeping me if if I don't find vulnerable like in here, yeah. I'm like, why am I doing this? Why am I like so when vulnerable arrives, I'm like, okay, this is gonna be good. Ooh. Yeah, and, and the other thing you were saying is like so the one of the other <clears throat> main things that I think hold holds people back and because it used to do it for me too until I was able to kind of lift that veil that or that weight off my shoulder was right what the caring what other people thought. And you literally can't because you may put out a video where you're dancing around in your tidy whities and doing whatever, your bra and panties, and you're like, I love this. But you're like, oh, God, what's, what's Susie from, from the hair salon going to think about this? Yeah. Fuck what Susie thinks. Susie can go yeah. up, but Susie's probably yeah. Dead. She doesn't care. She's probably thinking the same thing if she was going to put up a video. So just yeah. do it. And I speak to myself sometimes about this, too, and I'm like, oh, gosh, like – should I do it? Should I not do it? And it's like, who gives a shit? Nobody cares. Yeah. We'd all be dead tomorrow. You could die tomorrow. Any of us could die tomorrow. Like, do you think when you die that anyone gives a shit? No, they don't. No. Live, no. Go back. Live it. I agree. I agree. Totally. I had to really talk myself off of so many ledges all, all the time. It's like, just do it, you know? And so it's, it's and trust me, it's not like, it, it's a thing that, all you know every human has and it, it, it comes it visits all the time and so when it does it's like you're like get out of here you know like i'm i have to do it i just gotta do it well it happens to everybody you know what i mean yeah and i had a thing too it's like when i was like doing comedy and more like wanting to be in front of the camera it was you know the the content you would post was different. The the angle you would take, and now I'm more like on the kind of business side, and I really love that side. It's like, oh, maybe I shouldn't post this picture of my beautiful tits that I bought ten years ago. You know, maybe I should put some, you know something more conservative. About. Yeah, it's me in my head going, oh, what's this image I'm creating? Well, here's the thing: is like maybe I've changed. I'll always put a photo out, but I, you're not going to catch me in my my underwear walking around putting photos on Instagram anymore because right it's not that I care what people think it's just I've changed my priorities have changed my goals have changed now maybe if I have the number one tv show on the planet and I'm like well I got more money than anything like maybe I'll get more viewers on the show if I <laughs> posted my ass that I paid for because now I can afford it uh no I mean worked hard for it at the gym <laughs> I mean, with the, <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, but like these, but I just want to talk real quick about these fitness influencers. They're great. I love them. I follow them. I admire them. I hope they're listening. I hope they'll come on the show. But right. we all, there was one that came out and said, oh, come on. We have all the help we can get. Not only do we have personal trainers and nutritionists, but there's also this thing they like vibrate on your ass. You can do it on your ass or on your ass. Oh, yes. Yeah, like 20,000 sit-ups or 20,000 squats. 
Right. Do you know what happened, right. Chris, if you did 20,000 squats? Yeah. I could sign oh, up God. to be a Kardashian. Okay. Right. I'm like, yeah. I gotta go get this done before Florida. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So when I when I do when I do have a yes I am gonna send a picture of my ass. Yeah, great. why not? Why not? Right? Yeah, I'm totally. Moon, moon somebody on the way home from the doctor's office. You know, I'll be very <laughs> proud. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. But you know, just being your true authentic self, and I like how you say this that it, it's not where you are, right? So that's fine. Um, and uh, but that doesn't say that you're not like not being yourself still you know yeah even if you don't because in this moment like th being in this present moment that's not where you are so it's like but vulnerability is still there and you're still like getting out and doing it and if that other piece is a part of it in that time then you're like all right I'm gonna show my ass now, like. Yeah, exactly, right? I'm gonna go from like <laughs> little church, little church girl to all of a sudden, yeah, oh, got yeah. Some back to her slutty ways. Uh, she's, right. here. she's here. No, I actually had my Instagram Total. account hacked by a fucking hacker in like Turkey, and it's been a nightmare. No way. So, yeah, make sure you have your two-factor identification on your Instagram. Okay. Yes. And yes. Out there, yeah. If you don't grab your phone right now and do it. On all your social media devices, it did happen to me. Luckily, it was just my Instagram, um, well, which is the only thing I use. Now I'm posting on Facebook again, and people think that like I died. Now I'm back, and I'm like, no, I don't <laughs> post there. So right. it happened to me, and now they're they're WhatsApping me because they changed the email and phone number, and they got the phone number. They're WhatsApping me saying like, hey, you want your account back? You got to pay me, and I'm like, I'll Venmo you because I can trace the payment, right? Like, I don't do Venmo. I'm like, of course you don't. So now it's like, you know, and then the hackers reaching me out, reaching to me every day saying, do you want the account? Do you want the account? Send me money. In. And I go, do you, why are you doing this? Do you realize this is her horrible karma? And then I'm sitting here going, wait, I'm giving life's blessings to a hacker. And then I'm like trying to reason with him. I'm trying to like have him have a come to Jesus moment to where he'll just right. give the account back. You know, your, your life here is very short, but your afterlife, you are going to pay for the things that you <laughs> want. You know what I mean? And, <laughs> money and, and things is a, is a sin. Um, right. You know, thinking like, what am I doing? Like, should I start right, right, right. Bible verses? Like, so, so then I hire another hacker to try to hack his ass to try hack to hack that, that I can okay. Get, no. okay. So now this guy's tweeting me all the time saying, Oh, we're getting it done. We're getting it done. Now he could be literally bullshitting me to the planet. I don't know, but oh, I then totally. put it and tied it to my Amex. So I will dispute it if I don't get it back. And then somebody said, Well, he's asking for, they're extorting you for money. So go to the police. So I drive yeah. my happy little ass down to the police station. They're like, oh, the police don't really work out of here. This is more of the administrative office. You have to have an officer come to your home. I said, okay, well, here's the address. I'll be home by 530. And they said, well, they're going to call you. Make sure you answer your phone. I said, well, you can't talk on the phone and drive. So can they just show up at my house? And they go, these aren't my rules. These are state rules. But I'm not getting in trouble because I answer my phone as I'm driving. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. So then they come to the house. And they're like, oh, you should file a report with the FBI. I was like, right on. So now I went on the FBI website. I followed a criminal or a cyber, like criminality or whatever it is. And then right, I right. fill out a report with them. So now there's two. And then they're like, file it. I'm like, if the FBI can't get, nobody can get a hold of Facebook. That's a problem. Okay. And if the FBI can't do it. Which is so hard. And it's like a nightmare because I don't know what this guy's going to do. And like every day he's like going to get more, more and more aggressive. Did you get like your that. account back? No. I just oh, this found is... the FBI report recently and I still don't have it back. And it's like, it, it's, and everyone's like, and I'm thinking, okay, maybe I should just tell him to go fuck himself and start a new account. But it's like, I've got 10,000 plus followers on there. I've got, you know, you did yeah. years to build this. It did work. But yeah, it, you know, maybe I could do a new strategy about it and change it. Um, but yeah, the whole thing has been crazy. So learn from me. And I, I was just thinking to myself, good God, what if I was an influencer? 
and I was yeah. making my living off of that, what would happen? You would think that Facebook would have more of a a way to kind of get this back. I mean, luckily <coughs> I got an email this morning from a, a, a one of my friends who's a big technology guy who owns a big tech company. Um, right. is worth a lot of money luckily because money usually knows money uh and said i actually know zuckerberg and i said call him <laughs> like, yeah him on. <laughs> and uh, him on the phone he said, well he's very difficult to reach and i was like well understandably but he goes but i've emailed his chief of staff so now i've got a police report an fbi report an email to the chief of staff all these people working on it and this hacker is like people i'm report people are reporting his account now it's just it's it's so if you are an employee oh my god haven't been hacked yet it's only a matter of time that it's going to happen to you so yeah on the two-factor identification because even if they oh, that's a, your password because you accidentally clicked on a link stupidly and i'm very good about that you before they got in they you you would be getting dinged with a message on your phone that is yes. happening so you could go in and then and then do it but yeah they switched the email everything everything and now i paid this other guy and he's claiming like, oh, I used the money to get tools. So now I know he's going to hit me up for more money if he does get the account back. But I'm like, okay, so if he used, and then, this could all be hearsay, if he used the money for tools to try to get the account back, I should dispute the payment because he didn't give me the service I paid for. But I don't know where this right. yeah. is either. You know what I mean? Oh my Everybody God, yeah. People, and the police are like, this isn't the first time we've seen it. And I go, the only reason I'm filing a police report is because I'm being extorted for money. And I don't know if this guy's going to start, you know, commenting on my followers' photos, you know, like inappropriate. Okay, but this should be like, this, this should have been taken care of. Like, boom, because you, you, oh, you no, can no, find this out through the that. IP address, right? No, I, I can't. I can't get in touch with anyone on Facebook. And then I've watched YouTube videos and they're saying like, oh, just click this link. But when I pop it up on my phone, it doesn't look that way. And so mm. the whole thing's been a nightmare. The fact that like Mark Zuckerberg's chief of staff is now getting involved. The FBI is involved. So yes, I will put it in the notes, like where, what you guys can do, but I, I still have not gotten it back. And I, I'm, it's been like almost a week and I'm just so used to not having it that I'm kind of just like, eh, fuck it. But <laughs> wow. Ooh, yeah. I, know. I don't know what I would do. I don't know what I would do without my Instagram. <laughs> I'm like, ah. Make sure that it doesn't happen to you because it looked like the link came from Instagram. It said something about copyright infringement. And I have a lot of big people right. on my page, but I've, they've sent me the photo. I've used the photo. So, and little did I know if I'd had that two factor thing. So of course I went through and, you know, my, all the passwords that were similar to that one, like all of them were changed. Two factor identification was put on every social media site I have now. Um, right. Learn from me, you guys. It is a nightmare. Thank God I don't make wow. money off my account or else, but it, it still is my business. It's in my reputation, which is why the FBI is now involved. And who knows? Involved, yeah. FBI is probably like, dude, we're dealing with a murder in Ohio. Like you're hacked fucking Instagram. And who knows? Ah, yeah, it, it could be local. Know. Right. The, it the, could be like in the U.S. territory. That Well, the problem is the hacker from. looks like he's from Turkey based on the, the link he sent me to send him Bitcoin. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I know. So, yes, being an influencer. The dark web. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. Yourself. Two it's, factor. Uh, yes, uh, I agree. This is what I'm dealing with. And it is like such an i don't think i've ever filed a report with the fbi right um, thank god there's no warrants for my arrest <laughs> thank god like, yeah thank god i'm not like a political person because they could disagree with me or agree with me and then fuck me that way right. thank god i'm switzerland i'm in the middle of the <laughs> right now right like you ask me my opinion, okay. I'm going to tell you, I'm, it's, I'm Switzerland. I'm just right in the middle. I could go either way. It depends on who I'm talking to. You want to know why? Because I'm a capitalist chameleon and all I care about is money. So, no, I'm just kidding. No, I love that. Oh, no, I saw a politician. I love, it. <laughs> I love it. No, this is good. This is good. Well, thank God I don't have like all this crazy shit that like Zuckerberg would either like disagree with or agree with. You know what I mean? Like, right. You know, look at right. my account and be like, Oh, this girl loves her dogs and her nieces and her podcast. Like, how cute. But yeah. Give her her account back. 
But wouldn't that be great if I could end up getting Zuckerberg on my podcast? No, that would be amazing. Then I would blow. Oh, <laughs> let's, let's call that in. Yeah. Call it yeah, in. Yeah. Call it in. Yeah. No, like I wasn't feeling that. I wasn't a fan of him because just the what's, what it's doing to teenagers. I think you should be have to drink in order to get on social media. Your brain's just yeah. not developed and we, we do stupid things. I always thought that. So I was like, oh, he's ruining children. He's ruining people. He's uh but he's also doing a lot of good. So Zuckerberg, I know I yeah. love you. Get my account back. No, I never hate <laughs> I thought you were a genius. <laughs> and it's okay. You're not corrupt at all. And I think you're amazing. So help me get my account back, please. <laughs> I'll, I'll yes. help you fund next, whatever you do. What did you say? Yeah, I said I'll help him fund whatever, which is a joke because he's got more money. Oh, so. okay. You know I mean? Like I'll send you, I'll send you a nice Christmas card of my dog. She's really cute. Oh, oh. So, yeah, if your is your two factor ident- identification? Yes. Okay. So on, yeah, I'm definitely. So an idiot, because I have it on everything else. But here's the thing: they didn't get my bank accounts. They got my phone. Which is good. It's not the end of the world. I don't even make money off that Instagram right now, but I would like it back. So, yeah. You know, it's all. I'm it's feeling all, you. It's all a process, but that's okay. So, anyways, before we, let's uh, remind everyone. Sorry, I went off on a jaunt, but being an influencer. No, it's okay. I think it's important. important. It's very important. So now everyone is going to be like, "What happened with the FBI?" I don't know. I'm about to right. call him. Did you guys get my report? It's all about the two factor. Two factor. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's I feel like it's going to be like your new lipstick, the two factor lip liner. Two factor. Okay. You know, I'm conjuring something up in here already. You are. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. The two tone, two factor. Totally. It's the blendable, perfect coverage for you. If you need, yes. you, you're, you're, you'll be like, if you want a real world woman that's like, yeah, this product's great. Like, I don't like this, but I, this is great. You call me. <laughs> All right, where do we find you? I love you. Where do we find okay. you? Me too. Where can you find me? Uh, so I'm, I'm Dex Experience everywhere. Okay. Um, music, Spotify, and Apple, um, uh, YouTube, uh, all, all Dex Experience. I love it. So you guys go yeah. check them out. And then where do we get the cosmetic line? Cosmetic. So cosmetic line. So funny enough. So cosmetic line. Um, uh, she's in an incubation period because I'm rebuilding right now. Yeah. So. Okay. So that means he's making it better. So stay tuned. Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. I got so so many things coming down the pipeline. So. You but if you follow it? if you follow Dex Experience, you can keep in touch with everything. Okay. Perfect. And I I have an idea for you. Will you create, because hardly anyone does it. I like a baby pink lipstick, but not a pale. I don't like that matte pale that makes you look like, what the fuck happened to you? Like you put right. over your hot pink lipstick. But like right. a nice, subtle baby pink that lasts, and you can call it FBI. Oh, I love that. Okay. I can be your inspiration. <laughs> no, no, I love. No, no, no. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. There you go. Baby paint. Okay. It, I love it's baby here. Paint. Nobody makes it. And I'll be in Sephora trying. Shit, my hand looks like a clown by the time I'm done with all the colors. And then I got them up my Are you arm. serious? You're like oh, swatching everywhere. <laughs> I have terrible dark lipstick. It makes me look older. So I have to do the baby pink. The sugar, the fresh sugar dream I like. Uh-huh. But it's it's so subtle. You know what I mean? Right, I, right. I spent the whole night putting this shit on my face. Right, it's but so you, you, you want just a little more pigment, like yeah. in that. Or or an opal, a nice opal, light opal. Oh, that's cute. Okay, I used to have a lip gloss that, what you're describing, that but. Gloss, um, the wind catches you, the shit's in your, in your face. Yeah. I mean, and then you're yeah. pulling it out. Ugh. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm also no, no, I got it. I got you. I got you. I got Next, you. I am as high maintenance as I look. Okay, I'm not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using that quote too. I am high. Yes. I'm high maintenance. Of, like I love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, you think I don't know? Hello, hello. Yeah. 
Have we met? <laughs> That's exactly right. You know, my, my, my thing is I always tell people, I say, listen, because it, it's funny, I'm high maintenance about certain things, but like food, I'm kind of like, I drink Coors Light. I, I'm not that high. I don't have a high main. So I always say, trust me, I look like, I look like Greenwich, Connecticut on the outside, but a trailer <laughs> park on the inside. Okay. <laughs> that is me. <laughs> Greenwich on the outside, what trash on the inside. <laughs> wow. I love you. <laughs> that is so, so clever. I love it. I love it. No, oh, it's, it's well, like you, you. But you're just keeping it real. Like you're human, yeah. which is, which is awesome. Which exactly. is awesome. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you I so much that. for being my guest. And you thank you for having me. Of course. Go check out Dex. Yes. I'm excited for my new lipstick line that he's going to create. FBI. Uh, after FBI. My, my lips, the inspiration. Uh, maybe I'll be on my way to be an influencer. I'll keep you updated on the FBI report. Uh, okay. <laughs> I hope everybody turns on their two-factor identification. And I thank everybody for listening to another episode of Next Madison. I would greatly appreciate it if you could share it with all your friends, all your people, even the guy at the gas station. Share it with everybody. It's about living your best life, and it's about laughing and having fun. And guess what, guys? Happy New Year, and go kick ass in 20. Yes, baby. We'll see you in the new year. <laughs> and we'll find out who's next. Hey, your host here, Madison Malloy. Please make sure to subscribe to the show on all podcast platforms, and please rate and review us on iTunes and Spotify. Also, if you have any questions or comments, you can email us at contact at next I thank you again for listening. Bye.